hands up towards heaven. He's in this place. He's right there in your living room. He's moving right now. Healings are taking place. Breakthroughs are being released right now by the power of the Lord. Right now, the Lord is releasing healings into households, healings to marriages, healings and finances. Finances are being restored. Finances are being restored and turned around. Things that have been broken are being fixed. Right now, shalom is being released. We declare shalom into the home. Shalom into your home, nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. Those of you that are here today, lift your hands up like lightning rods. Right now, we decree shalom over this house. We thank you right now that people are being healed by the power of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, put your hands together and lift up a shout. Oh, come on, lift up a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For I hear the Lord say, I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. Right now, it is springing forth for you. Not only for you that are watching, but those of you that are in this room right now. There is a new thing. There is a new thing that has taken place. This morning when I woke up, Holy Spirit came into my room and I began to hear him say, Dr. Andre, I'm doing a new thing in this network. I'm doing a new thing in this network. The Lord says, as it was in the beginning, I'm shifting things, I'm changing things, I'm moving things, and I'm causing there to be a full circle. That that this network was birthed in, you're returning to the power, to the glory, to the anointing. The Lord says, do not go back, don't go back. Don't go back. The Lord says, go forward, for there's a new day. The Lord says, you've not been this way before. So I'm going to show you how to walk in this day. I'm going to show you how to move in this day. I'm going to show you how to move in this anointing. And those of you that are even watching here, the Lord says, you've not been here before. This is an open door for a new season, for a new hour. Come on, lift your hands up and receive it. For a new season of power, for a new season of demonstration, for a new season of my glory. If you believe and put your hands together and lift up a shout. Oh, come on, just pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, look across the living room to your husband or your wife and say, God's about to do a new thing in you. Uh-huh. You might want to pick up your phone and Facebook somebody, tweet somebody, say, God's doing something new in me. It's happening right now. I'm watching faith on fire, and something's happening in me. I feel the heat. I feel the fire. I feel the power. God is healing me as I watch faith on fire. Something is happening in my life. If you believe it, jump up and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Something is happening. Something is shifting. Something is changing. Hey, Here, the Holy Spirit said this to me this morning. He said, Behold, I'm doing a new thing in Faith Broadcasting Network. I'm doing a new thing in you, says the Lord. I've already begun to shift things and rearrange things in and around you, says the Lord. Let me finish what I've begun. Make way for me to bring about everything I desire. Don't go back. Don't go back. He said it again. No, don't go back. But keep moving forward with me, and you'll see the greatest harvest you've ever seen, says the Lord. Are you ready for harvest time? Come on, are you ready for harvest time? A harvest of souls, a harvest of finances, a harvest like you've never seen before. Come on, lift those hands up like lightning rods. Oh, we say, do it here, Lord. Do it right now, Lord. Do it here. Do it now. Do it right here in this studio. Do it right here in this church. And do it right there in the living rooms. Right there, Lord. Come on, lift your hands up and say, right here, right now, Lord. Right here, right now, Lord. Right here, right now, Lord. Oh, come on. Invite him. Right here, right now, Lord.
seen before. Greater fire is being released in the earth right now. There are pockets. There are pockets. There are places around the globe that are opening up for my move. There are pockets. There are people. There's a remnant that is pressing in for my move, says the Lord. There is a remnant. There are some hungry people. There are some thirsty people. Are you those people? Are you those people? If you're those people, you will experience my fire and my signs and wonders like you've never experienced it before. Russian mighty wind, Russian mighty wind, coming to the house again. A Russian mighty wind, a Russian mighty wind, a Russian mighty wind is coming to my house again. Russian mighty wind, Russian mighty wind, Russian mighty wind. Russian mighty wind, Russian mighty wind, Russian mighty wind, it's coming to my house again. Tongues of fire, holy desire, yes, tongues of fire, holy desire. Come on, sing. Tongues of fire, holy desire, tongues of fire, holy desire. Wonders, miracles, we decree it, signs, wonders, and miracles. Come on, sing it, son. Come on. Signs, wonders, and miracles to every living room. Signs, to every hospital room. To every prison cell, we decree signs, wonders, to every state, to every through the UK, through America, through the continent of Africa, signs, wonders, miracles. Signs, wonders, miracles. From my head down to my feet. From my head down to my feet. Come on, prophesy. From my head down to my feet. I'm baptized with fire. To my feet, come on, Papa. From my head down to my feet. From my head down to my feet. I'm baptized with fire. Fire. From my head down to my feet. Come on, Papa. From my head down to my feet. I'm Papa. From my head down to my feet. I'm baptized with Holy Ghost fire. From my head down to my feet. From my head down to my feet. Just Holy Ghost fire. I don't know if you give me today or not. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. But whatever you first received, 
it will pale in comparison to what the Lord is going to do in this hour. Do you remember when you were red hot? Do you remember when you were first saved? Do you remember when you were first filled with the Holy Ghost? You were burning on fire. Well, I prophesy to you that and greater. More is coming to you. From my head down to my feet. Come on. From my head down to my feet. I'm on fire. From my head down to my feet. Come on. From my head down to my feet. From my head down to my feet. I'm on fire. Look at your neighbor real quick. Say fire, 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 fire. Fire. There's a fire breaking out in America. There's a fire breaking out in Europe. Fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost. You can take your seat real quick if you can. Man. He said for me to tell you, Dr. Andre, discoveries will be made on your land and in the land of those who are in covenant with this ministry. Discoveries will be made on your land that will help fund my kingdom. I think two of you may have got it. Is, is this microphone working? Some of you own land. You're watching me. And they're going to discover things on your land that will fund the kingdom cause in the earth. Some of you are in this room. I know there's one because the Lord promised it to Dr. Andre and Jenny. Do you want to receive it for yourself? Discoveries will be made that will help fund the advancement of the kingdom. Somebody needs to jump up and say, I got my word. You need to jump up and grab it. All of a sudden, they're going to find oil on your land. All of a sudden, they're going to find gas, natural gas on your land. All of a sudden, they're going to find gold on your land. All of a sudden, they're going to find silver or copper or some type of, come on, they're going to find it. It's going to be discovered on lands that you own. Mark it. Write it down. Write it down. And I will use these resources for the funding of my kingdom. So when it's discovered, don't you just go off and buy you a bunch of nice things. Recognize it's been brought to you for the advancement of my kingdom. He went on to tell me, he said, there's coming a public repentance. There's coming a public repentance from your government. I saw your president. Stand up on behalf of the government and publicly repent. It'll be aired on the news. There shall be a returning to the Lord in South Africa. There shall be a returning to the Lord in South Africa. There shall be a returning to the Lord in South Africa. Hear the word of the Lord. This nation shall return to me. This will advance throughout the continent of Africa. This will advance throughout northern Africa. Governments will repent or they will be ousted and they will be removed. There will be the ousting and the removal of militant groups in northern Africa. Hear the word of the Lord. You'll see them one day prospering and the next day you'll see them obliterated and removed because they've come against my church and they've come against my people. I will raise up righteous leaders who will help these nations to deal with these groups, says the Lord. I want you to stand up on your feet right now. We're going to just go to war right now for northern Africa. I feel the anointing right now. We're going to push out of South Africa, out of North Africa. Come on, lift your hands up and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Everything that is not of the Lord, 
everything that is not of the fire of the Holy Ghost, we drive it out by the fire of God right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost drives out the enemy of the cross, drives out the enemy of the church. And we say, loose my people and let them go. We decree freedom for people that are held captive unrighteously right now in Jesus name not only in Africa I hear the Lord say I will do this in Asia I will do this throughout the nations I will begin to unseat unrighteous rulers says the Lord watch and see I will bring the reunion of North and South Korea and they shall be one and they shall praise me says the Lord watch and see this I will move amongst the nations and I will release my fire of revival if you believe it put your hands together and shout Come on, don't you pat a cake, shout. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Fire. Take your seat. Fire. Haramosapata. Yeramashikete here. Madabakisikete. God says, I'm going to release fresh fire. My fire upon my church. There's been strange fire. But I'm removing strange fire, and I'm releasing pure, righteous fire, the fire of my spirit upon my church. And there'll become a distinction in the coming days of those who have my fire and those who have strange fire. There will become a distinction, and I'll begin to lift up, and I'll begin to exalt those who operate and move in my fire, says the Lord. Write the word fire down, if you will. I understand that I'm on an assignment today. I'm not here just to preach. I'm here to flow. I'm here to move with the Holy Ghost. So I must decrease and he must increase. So I understand I'm on assignment today. So I might not preach this whole message because I'm looking for him just to show up and do whatever he wants to do. So I want you to write this down. Fire. That F stands for fervency. Say fervency. Come on, shout fervency. The I stands for intensity and intimacy. Intensity and intimacy. God is restoring fervency back to his church. He is restoring intensity and intimacy back to believers. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Come on, I need to hear you say amen. amen. Say amen for a million believers that are watching on TV right now. Come on, say amen for thousands of people that are being set free, that are watching right now. I'm restoring intensity back to my church. I'm restoring intimacy back to my church. That R stands for reciprocity. Reciprocity. I'm restoring the act of generosity, of giving, where there's an exchange, a mutual exchange, and there's going to be divine reciprocity. I'm going to begin to release back to you a harvest like you've never seen before so you can fund my kingdom in the earth. If you believe it, say amen. amen. And then the last one, the E, is expectancy. Say expectancy. Come on, shout expectancy. He said, he told me to tell you as soon as you become expecting, you'll become expecting. As soon as you expect me to move, you're going to become pregnant with my move. Come on, lift your hands up. As soon as you begin to walk in here this week during this faith on fire, when you walk in these doors, you should be walking in praying in the Holy Ghost. Lifting up your hands. When you're on the job, if you're at work and, you're, and you got this on your app on your phone and you got it turned down quiet, and when you get your break, you should pray in the Holy Ghost. You should lift up your hands and prepare yourself for what you're about to receive. Pastor Rod Parsley says this. He says, the atmosphere of expectancy is the birthplace of miracles. How many want miracles? Come on, if you want miracles, jump up on your feet and shout, I'm expecting. Come on, shout, I'm expecting. As soon as you expect, you'll become expecting with the move of God. That F stands for fervency, 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 fervency. 
I asked them to bring me something that you South Africans and many people throughout Europe are accustomed to this. And in America, we're getting used to this today. We're, we're learning to have our kettles in our homes, to have a proper glass of tea. But you know, none of us want to drink lukewarm tea. Talk to me, somebody. How many, how many just, just really love lukewarm tea? Anybody? When you get your tea, you want it to be hot. Come on, talk to me. Say hot. When you receive Holy Ghost fire, it will heat things up, baby. It will heat you up. You'll become hot. Now, I've been told that in order to get your, your tea or in order to get things to boil to the boiling point, you have to get it to 212 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Celsius. If you get it to 212, if you can get it heated to 212, it literally can become a movement, an agent that will cause a whole locomotive that weighs tons of pounds to be moved 